Welcome back to the charismatic voice. Smoking is not good for singing, but it can make for a great song subject. Today we're going to return to the wonder duo of Bruno Mars and Anderson Pock and listen to the first song that they ever wrote together, Smokin' Out the Window. I personally adore their style and energy, so I'm very eager to get to hear this song for the first time. Let's get to it. Wait a minute, this love started off so tender, so sweet. But now she got me smoking out the window. Mm. 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 <sighs> Must have spent 35, 45,000 up in Tiffany's. Oh, no. <laughs> got the badass kids running around my whole crib like it's Chuck E. Cheese. Whoa, whoa. Put me in the jam with an X Men in a UFC. Can't believe it. Can't believe it. I'm in disbelief. This bitch. <laughs> I love the groove of this right away. It's just like, it, it makes me want to dance. <laughs> it's like, they have this retro soul vibe that's going on, and they even are bringing some of that style back. And I love um, the way it just elicits so much smile and laughter and giggling. Um, even though this is a really serious subject, right? This is about a girl that. Uh, apparently is essentially using a guy, which is not cool, right? <laughs> but at the same time, they've got this really fun, uplifting style going along with it um, that sort of makes the situation feel a little bit lighter overall. Um, <laughs> I still I have to say all of the cigarettes in the hands while singing, you know, frown upon that in my vocal science kind of way. But at the same time, uh, there is an image that I understand needs to be shown and the presentation is fantastic. Let's go back to the beginning. Wait a minute, this love started off so tender, so sweet. But now she got me smoking out the window. Mm. 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 I love this initial opening here. When you get smoking out the window, it sounds like they're already establishing a hook, essentially something that's really catchy that you're going to end up singing back. And they've put it in a parallel octave. Um, the upper one sounds like it's definitely got more leaning towards it. Um, so it's like mixed a little higher, essentially. Um, and then they also put a nice echo or maybe a tape delay that's on do. Oh, so you hear that come back a few times, which is really fun. Wait a minute, this love started off so tender, so sweet. But now she got me smoking out the window. Mm. It's just, it's so good the way that Anderson Pot comes with this, oh no, <laughs> like, like that, that friend of yours is like, no, you didn't. Did you really spend that much on a girl? Oh boy. Um, I also got really excited because the lights in the background are timed with the percussion here. Okay. One more time. Back from the beginning. I mean, this love started off so tender, so sweet. <laughs> But now she got me smoking out the window. Mm. Mm. <sighs> Must have spent 35, 45,000 up in Tiffany's. Oh, no. Got a badass kids running around my whole crib like it's Chuck E. Cheese. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> with an X Men in a UFC. Can't believe it. Can't believe it. I'm in disbelief. This bitch. <laughs> got like sort of a slow groove that's happening with it but again that has an uplifting feel at the same time um it really works with the whole song the lyrics are so clever oh my goodness the Chuck E. Cheese part that that had me rolling inside so hard I almost had to stop immediately but thought okay okay we'll listen to a little bit more um and I like the way that they're switching off right that was very clever in the music video to have Anderson Pop come in uh, and just pop his head over, kind of the way he did in front of Bruno Mars. Um, 
And then I also dig the way that we've kind of got this, it's almost like a backing group of singers, but of course you have Bruno fronting it right now. A bit ago you had Anderson fronting it. And then the person who's taking the solo line is on the handheld mic at that time. Uh, just really so clever overall. Paper chips. I want to talk about their enunciation uh, really early in this video, but I was like, oh, should I bring it in now? Should I bring it in now? It's happening right now because of the way he lingers on the S. Anderson, uh, he hangs out on the S of smoking a lot earlier, smoking, and it kind of gives you the idea of sizzling with that. I love the way that they set the word how here, right? They really lean into it. They have a little slide with it as well. One more time. Right. How could she do this to me? Right. To me? moves too. It's great. Um, they, I dig the way that the words are set in a very almost conversational kind of tone, right? That's really fun. And they made an extra diphthong out of wrong. Wrong by itself is just an ah vowel, but they are playing with the vowel of it and adding a little extra one in there to go wrong. It's like they're adding an ooh, I think, to Give some extra funness and play to that. And they're also shifting the pitch with that, so it can be really helpful to distinguish the pitch with two different vowels like that. She was gripping on me tight, screaming Hercules. Oh. Baby, why you doing this? Why you doing this to me, girl? Not to be dramatic, but I wanna die. This bitch got me <laughs> The switch offs are amazing. I want to talk a little bit about two voices separately now and how their tone qualities differ, how their style differs. Uh, Anderson Pack for me, he he kind of snuck up on me with a really nice voice. Um, and his voice is very, very precise in rhythm, yet smooth at the same time. A lot of times when we get really precise in rhythm, we can get a bit choppy with things. And he still has this whole line going and keeps some smoothness underneath it. That's not surprising because he's also a drummer. I just love the way that he's incorporated that into his singing voice. He also has a little bit more grit in his sound overall, like a, a little rasp every now and then that comes in. And it surprises me how he adds a little nasality into the sound too, yet still makes it sound so dang smooth and like easy. I really like the way he's combining a lot of different factors into that. Um, and then let's uh, let's let's actually go back hear his verse one more time. I loved this intro because you could hear how beautifully he's able to get that rhythm into the vocal line, which is different from drumming. He's using consonants but keeping that again super super smooth while defined. Oh no, a little bit further. She was gripping on me tight, screaming Hercules. That's amazing. Got me in the club looking for a new love, somewhere help me please. Baby, why you doing this? Why you doing this to me, girl? Not to be dramatic, but I wanna die. This bitch got me paying on rent, paying for trips, diamonds on her neck, diamonds on her wrist. Here I am all alone. <laughs> 
I love that he just stayed dead on the floor for a bit. <laughs> they have such good humor. It's fantastic. Bruno, when his voice comes in there, you can hear it. It sounds like it's almost got like a little more warmth in um it doesn't have the as much of the rasp or sort of that nasal cut that Anderson Pack will bring in at times he can have that and he'll bring in some cut for sure um I have to say Bruno Mars for me is one of those just super extraordinary voices that's out there today I think he's really really amazing and the ease that he pops up with is particularly beautiful. And I love the way he keeps the tone open when he goes up. You don't hear it pinch or squeeze in any way. Uh, and of course, he's got these really brilliant quick runs. Okay, we're going to go back just a little bit. I'm sure we're going to get some more. Ooh, okay, no, we'll, we'll hear that Bruno solo one more time. Oh, it's so good. But I want to die. This bitch got me paying a rent, paying for trips. Diamonds on her neck, diamonds on her wrist. Here I am on the lawn. They both are so smooth. I'm so calm. I'm so cold. You got me out here. Smoke it up. Smoke it up. Don't we know what the bees are? The bees are. Sing it out. Cause you do this to me. How could you do this? All right. For that girl in love. All right. 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 All right totally is like a dog when it howls. They go, oh, wow, 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 wow. <laughs> you tend to hear them shift their vocal tracks as they're they're howling. And it's really cute um, that I feel like they're, you know, dogs often are expressing pain when they're in that way. I wonder if that is something that humans have sort of brought into our own musical language. When we Because we have these really fun extended uh lengths of melodies sometimes that are very reminiscent of various animals and so anyhow I wonder how that developed but I love the way that when they say raw wa wong like you have that same kind of like oh I'm so sorry dude this situation sucks <laughs> right that same sympathy going on and and then a similar mouth shaping a similar vocal tract shaping that is happening and I think that's just really really cool also if you're at home and uh, and you're not scared of people hearing you or you really don't care either one, you should totally sing this with them. Like feel how fun that is to make that kind of sound. It is important to just make weird noises to explore all of the cool things that we can do with our voices and mouths. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go back one more time. Sing it with them. This really, I have to say, I really love uh, Anderson Pock's insertions there as well. He was riffing on top, um, had like lots of full blown singing uh, that I think really added a beautiful extra layer with the backing vocals. One more time there. <laughs> that was amazing extra bit of rap in there it just almost doesn't even feel like rap it feels like he's just talking to you right again so smooth with the rhythm and oh my goodness the lyrics i'm dying <laughs> Goes up to the top like that, just 
It makes me all giddy. It's so, it's so very good, right? He's able to go up in full voice. He also is able to flip into his falsetto there and make it just a super sweet sound. It's brilliant, 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 excellent technique, singing, all of the above. Um, I feel so impressed every time I hear Walk it. around there, please. Was all riffing in his falsetto. Sometimes people will say head voice if they're coming from a different background. I'm coming from a classical background, so I'll talk about that top registration for males as falsetto. Um, and I love the way he's he's using an ooh vowel. I think ooh vowels are particularly nice in falsetto. They tend to be one that feels better for a lot of men to sing in falsetto as well. And it just had this essence of Mariah Carey in it too, with some of those runs. Uh, I love the way it soared over the top. And often falsetto can almost sound a little bit too detached or too airy. This was like that beautiful, perfect, pure tone. So the tone quality of his falsetto is extraordinary and, and perfect. It's perfect. Um, and then I love the way he came back into a more full voice sound as we got um, a little more oomph under the piece too to give some more oomph in the vocal. I'm gonna go back one more time. Ugh. Maybe here? Where's my, where's, where's this falsetto? Hey, Um, articulations in there that he's doing and the way it like he makes it feel like moments when he's going woohoo it feels like it could be spoken or or yelled in a football game right there's he's really bringing it into uh, a way that feels natural but at the same time is totally unnatural he merges the two together and makes it just super fun to experience these high moments with him <sighs> and good diction up here too I love the way that this ending is such a cliffhanger. It makes me want to go back and repeat the song over and over and over again and just giggle endlessly. It is so much fun to see these two together. I feel like they vibe off of each other in a way that just enhances some of the best qualities. Right? We have this incredible rhythm and smoothness that Anderson Pock is able to bring. And then, of course, uh, Bruno's tone quality, his highs that he's able to accent, they really go together so very well. It's excellent and simply delightful and clever, and I enjoy it so much. Um, please, please, if you haven't already, uh, go subscribe to their channel. Silk Sonic is an amazing, amazing group. And if you'd like to see my first ever encounter with them, you can check out this video over here. It is full of more giggles and delight. I just adore this group so much. And I hope to see you guys in another video very soon.